Hello everyone, welcome to the Embedded Laboratory. The analog clocks are great, and adding an internet-based timing synchronization to these clocks can make them even more fascinating. In this tutorial we will utilize the ESPIDF framework and the ALI9341 display controller to create a simple analog clock, which is synchronized with accurate time obtained via NTP servers. For this post, I am using India's time zone, but this can be easily changed to any other time zone. I am using the LVGL graphics library with some images as assets for displaying the analog clock background and some images as assets for displaying seconds, minutes, and hours dials. The following video demonstrates the demo of this small project. As you can see the ESP32 connects with the Wi-Fi router and automatically synchronizes the time in India using the NTP servers. The following is the block diagram for this project. At first the ESP32 is connected to a Wi-Fi router so that it can access the internet and then the ESP32 establishes a connection with the NTP server and then periodically we send a request to get the time and then from the NTP server we receive the time which we update on the TFT display. But before proceeding further, I would like to thank the sponsor of this video, PCBWay. With more than a decade in the field of PCB prototype and fabrication, they are committed to meeting the needs of their customers from different different industries in terms of the quality, delivery, cost effectiveness, and any other demanding requests. They are one of the most experienced PCB manufacturers in the world. I hope my video's viewers will visit their website at least once to show their offerings. So, let's get started. I have prepared an activity diagram to show what is happening inside the software. The project is divided into three tasks. The first is the main task that triggers the other two tasks, that is the SNTP task and the graphical management task. The main task is very simple. It first starts the graphical manager task, which in turn displays the busy indicator animation, which is used to represent that the ESP32 is trying to connect with the Wi-Fi router and once the connection is successful, it triggers and even to the graphical manager task to update the labels and indicate that now we are trying to connect with the SNTP server. In the SNTP task we configure the ESPIDF framework SNTP module to synchronize with the India time zone and periodically we fetch the time from the NTP server. While in the main task, we wait until we have the valid time from the SNTP task and once this is done, we send an event to the graphical manager task to display the analog clock and show the fetch time from the NTP server. In the main task we have created a timer to update the time every second and then we post an event to the graphical manager task to update the analog clock. The synchronization is done every minute from the NTP server because synchronizing every second is not a good idea as it will overload the network. Now let's come to the coding part. Here this is the main task and as you can see here, the first step is to start the graphical manager task and then we will try to connect with the Wi-Fi router and once the connection is successful, we send an even to the graphical manager task to update the graphics and we also start the SNTP task. And then once the connection with NTP server is established and we get the valid date and time, we post another event to the graphical manager task to update the graphics and display the analog clock. Here we also start a one second timer using the ESPIDF timer software module. This timer module will increment the time by one second and post the event to the graphical manager task to update the analog clock's hour, minute and second dials. In the main task itself after every one minute the time is synchronized with the NTP server as shown here. Now coming to the SNTP task function. Here we try to obtain the time for the configured time zone using the configured NTP server. Here the NTP server used is pool.ntp.org as shown here. You can also specify the time zone here. So this module initializes the SNTP software module using the ESPIDF framework and tries to fetch the time information every 10 seconds from the NTP server for the configured time zone. Here I am using the 10 seconds, but you can use till 1 minute, because in the main task we are synchronizing after 1 minute, so here we can put the same value or values less than 1 minute to have the accurate time. Now coming to the graphics handling task, this task is similar to the previous project. Here one of the important things is to develop the graphics like the background of the analog clock and then the dials for hour, minute and second hands of the analog clock. If these can be developed using the tools like Inkscape or Photoshop, unfortunately this is not my expertise area, so I downloaded these graphics from online. There are several websites which provide these sorts of graphics either paid or free. These are the graphics that I combined to make the analog clock. 
o'clock, as you remember, we are posting an event every second from main task to update the time, and once this event is received, the graphical management task will call this function, and this function will adjust the second, minute and hour dials, according to the value received from the queue. And then we have a live analog clock which is synchronized using the NTP server. This project can be further updated to synchronize and display the time of various locations by setting the respective time zone, and also a digital clock can be added in case someone wants to view the time using a digital clock. So, that's all from this video in case you have some doubts or comments regarding this project, feel free to use the comment section or contact us directly. Thanks for watching this video. Please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel.